What's up, y'all? It's Aunt Glizzy, and it's Bob Sun TV. And today we got the cue to food story, aka George, aka Allah Wakbar. I don't know why Ock be doing me like this. Ock did wrong though, y'all. Ock did this to himself. Like, I wasn't even on cue line. Like, make me feel the pressure. 100 miles up to an extra more. I real life jumped out the bush with Max. Like, Max, my real man. Like, Q's supposed to have been cool, but like, Q wild. But at the end of this story, it's gonna get crazy. Let's go. All right, so boom. I'm popping. Bob or something, one crank, and I got the streets going on, man. I caught a wave now, and I'm a rapper. I, my man Killer, my man Killer, OTD. OTD be with Rich Shooters. So, my man Killer, this is like my right hand. We always together. You see, if you see me outside, 10 times out of 10, I'm with Killer, free Killer. So, I'm with Killer. Killer locked up, though, at this time. Killer called me from a jail phone. I was like, man, you and Q need to work. Q just came home. He's like, man, you and Q need to work, bro. Y'all need to put something together. I'm about to hit Q, and then I'm going to hit you, and y'all get in the studio, and y'all link up. So, boom, he put it together. Me and Q link. Q like, all right, link. Meet me at the studio. All right, we go to the studio. We go to the studio. I'll cheat your jump. So, I get the minutes. just me, swag, and GQ. We just go three deep. Me, swag, and GQ, like... We ain't tripping, bro. We from the South, bro. It is what it is. Me, Swagger, GQ, that's cool. We go. We going to we going to see what Q and them got going on. We going to kick it with Q. Max with them. The whole wrist shoes with them. They probably like 15, 20 deep. Chicho, probably a couple Chicho men, two, three Chicho men. This is my first time ever meeting Chicho. I'm thinking Chicho, like, I ain't, I don't know Chicho. I just met Chicho later on after that. I'm thinking Chicho, like, Measy, Lago, Engineer. It's a whole cover up, y'all. I can't get him incriminated, but Chicho the alias sneaky man. Shout out to Chicho, man. Them beats, them Chicho beats changed lives. All the Merlin rappers blew up off them Chicho beats. It was like when Young Chop had Chief Keef, like he created them careers. Then he started rapping. I ain't even know he was rapping. The whole time they stole his style, but it's a whole nother swag. We'll get back to that later. So I'm thinking Chicho and me the whole time. Chicho from Lincoln Heights, cold bloody man. Like you feel me? I ain't. That's a hog, man. You hear me? Shout out to Hog. So man, uh. I don't really know what's going on. I'm just getting in there, figuring out the room. So he got a song, a song called uh, Fell in Love or something like that. I don't even remember the name. It might have been Fell in Love, something like that in that area. So he, he, he uploaded the song. I put my verse on the song. But as I put my verse on the song, when I put my verse on the song, I probably had like my ad-libs to do. Q was like, all right, he had a show, something at the strip club, I got a roll. So Q was leaving. I put my ad libs on it. Q rolled out. But in the midst of the minute, we was deep as shit. It was probably like 30 of them. Fed Max, all of them in there. Just me, GQ, and Swag. We ain't tripping. We in, I'm in the booth rapping, doing my pop, me, GQ, and Swag. And they all in there, but we mutual. We all talking, keeping it cool. We taking videos, posting lives for Instagram, showing the people we about to drop the song, go up and all that. He asked me a couple questions, like, what's up with that shit? Said, I'm like, bro, that shit ain't about nothing, bro. That's like... Some bitch, but that's between me and shit. That ain't need that. I don't need to be preaching that or nothing. Like, bro, that ain't, that ain't need that serious, bro. You see him in the studio right now? He'd have never pulled up to the studio three deep. So, boom. He like, yeah, man. He like, yeah, I don't be, I don't be on that shot. He, he cool and all that, but he ain't nobody for real. He be faking. I be testing this water for real. Just having a little conversation trying to make it seem like him and Shy ain't. I don't know. That's he trying to be cool with me by saying him and Shy ain't. Long story short, we get the song together, boom. He said he gonna drop the song. Wait, he waiting on, I'm waiting on the song to drop. He gonna drop it. I left the studio. We left. I, I thought nothing of it. There ain't nothing. The song ended up coming out like some months later, but it came out without my verse on it. I didn't care. I'm like, I don't really care about rap that much. Y'all might think I do. I didn't really care. It came out without my verse on it, and all the fans was like, man, that's the song you and Anglizzi recorded. Oh, you took Anglizzi off the verse. They trolling me about it. Like, oh, Anglizzi, you took off the verse. You some shit. They took you off the verse. Then he go do a Say Cheese interview before he got locked up and said he took me off the verse because I was some shit. And is there a reason why you took him off the record? I ain't even take him off the... Nah, the, uh, I put him on my... It was on the Fell in Love joint. He <laughs> song got like, he... Uh, <laughs> Yo. It wasn't a bad... It wouldn't have been what it was if he was on there. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on now. Like, you making up any excuse. This is what he really did. I'm going to tell y'all the true sides of the story. Two sides of the story. After he dropped that song without me on it, on it, before he did that, he linked up with Shy Glizzy. 
He was buzzing at this time. Now he just came from jail. He buzzing. Q got his buzz. Q hotter than me at the time. I just got the name from being like an OT in the game, like a veteran. I've been in this shit. I'm buzzing my name in this shit now. So now he go link up with Sha. Like some months later after we was in the studio, he go link up with Sha. It ain't about him linking up with Sha. He can do whatever he want to do with Sha. I don't knock no rappers for hanging around other rappers. This is your career. You can be around whoever you want to be. It ain't nothing like that. I don't make you pick a side. They make you pick a side. In this video, Sha Glizzy trying to give him a chain. Now he's trying to get Glizzy chain. Sha give him a Glizzy chain. Sha act like he about to sign Q to Food. Q to Food hang with him like he about to get signed to Sha Glizzy. They act like they about to sign each other. Sha give him a Glizzy chain. Sha put the Glizzy gang chain on him. Q wrapped his hands around Sha and looked in the camera while he gave him the chain. He said, yeah, this is my arc right here. Because any of his beats, my beats, y'all already know what it is. Basically, he looked in the camera and said, Aunt Glizzy, you already know what it is. I'm rocking with Sha. You hear smoke, my smoke. I said, oh my God, it is up from there. And that's when history happened. I've been on full court press on George. Yeah, this ain't got nothing to do with Lago. Shout out to Lago and all that. But George, you can't mess with me. All that honey round going, honey round spoon. Head like a spoon. You head like a, a BB gun pellet. Like, you shoot your eye out, kid. One of them little drunk that go, hey, little eyeball ass. Little head ass. Bet yeah. Cue the food, cue the food. You really is a fool for playing with me. So, this is the story right here. Now, let's get into cue the food life. I ain't really tripping off the music. Let's get off the music topic of it because I ain't even on rapper time on my YouTube. Let's get into his real life. Q the Fool just got caught in a Jeep with like some VIN numbers that didn't match. The police end up hopping on the Jeep. They end up taking, catching Q at the Jeep, taking Q keys, going back. They already had him under surveillance before they even bagged him in the Jeep. So they knew where he lived at, went back to his house, searched his house. They found drugs, guns. Everything you can find in the house ain't supposed to be in the house. They sat Q down and asked him, dang, we here for a Jeep. What is all this? Could you take us to go get this and all that? Q the fool end up just mysteriously going to jail real quick, bonding out. And as he bonded out, the guy that he in business with, dollars he in business with, that's his manager. Who he in business with, his manager? Police hit his spot and find everything. Long story short, they locked him up. Dollars got 11 years, Q the Fool on his way home. Q the Fool can turn himself in when he wanted to turn himself in. Like, Q the Fool bond himself out and the police told him, yeah, just turn yourself in on Friday. Go do a Say Choose interview on Thursday and turn yourself in on Friday. This is what makes it even crazy. I'm going to call Q the Fool hat and I know he told on Dollars. Dollars said himself out of his own mouth that Q the Fool hat and he told on Dollars. And why I believe he told on Dollars, I ain't saying he had, I ain't seen no paperwork. His co-defendant saying he had, his manager, his right-hand man, the guy he hold up the money with, they wear the same rich shooter chains, the guy they share Rolex watches with, his only right-hand buddy, like his buddy, like left and right, is saying he had. You know what that mean. Q the Fool was on his way home. Dollars got 11 years in Dollars saying he had. I'm not saying he had, but you know what that mean. But I'm here to tell you, if Q the Fool just got locked up, by the gun task force. They locked him up for guns, all type of guns. They released him. They've been watching me under investigation. They released him to he turned himself in. He's going to go do one interview the day before he turned himself in. In this interview, why would he go tell Say Cheese on camera, knowing he under federal investigation, they just let him go under federal investigation for guns and say, yeah. Because, man, we was in the studio. Me and Aunt Glizzy talked about guns. I told Aunt, uh, he told me that I had uh, better guns than him. When I come home, he DM me like, I wanna, I wanna pull up on you, I wanna do a song. All right, push up, see what I'm about, you know what I'm saying? As soon as he pushed up, he like, damn. Like, y'all nigga, y'all got bigger guns than me. You know what I'm saying? He know what I'm talking about. Like, yeah. Like, he put, he wanted to pull up on me, so at the end of the day, I let Shawty push up on me, and I guess that's it, that's just, that was just my mistake. Bro, I never in my life went to Q the Fool and told him nothing about no guns, no studio. Didn't I just tell y'all this story from the beginning? What part of this story did I tell y'all I told Q the Fool something about some guns? And I told y'all the truth in this story. These stories, these stories do not be that. Not tell that man nothing about no guns. I'm here to tell y'all the police. I do not carry guns. I take walks in the park with my girlfriend and eat ice cream. Q the Fool, you is a fool. That was like a sneaky, yeah, I got guns, but I ain't got guns too. Go check into him. That's what I took it as. You know, who went real and would get on the interview and say, you talk to another man about some guns. He had better guns than him. Like, ain't that crazy alone? Let's just make it make sense. Makes you feel the pressure. Because Dollar says you told extra, nigga.